Some diesel engines use large canister-shaped air filters, and when these filters get clogged with dirt, the engine has to work harder and burn more fuel in order to get the same work done. Incompletely burned fuel adds to our air pollution, damages the environment, depletes our already scarce supply of fossil fuel, and results in the filters needing to be replaced more often. And obstructed filters are the leading cause of engine failure and expensive repairs. As well as harming the environment, all of this costs a lot of money. People should care about dirty air filters for two reasons. They're bad for the equipment and the environment. By keeping filters cleaner more often, the engine's able to take in fresh air more efficiently, which means engine fuel consumption is less, maintains higher performance, and increases the life of the filter. All these elements add up to reduced emissions, less waste, and in the end, lower cost for the user. In 2007, longtime mechanic and heavy equipment operator Dennis Grieve came up with a design for a tool for cleaning canister filters by reversing the normal airflow in a carefully controlled way. It could clean a filter in mere seconds without damaging the unit. The air filter blaster was born. One day I was sent up the mountain in a remote area to service several pieces of heavy equipment. One of the pieces of heavy equipment had a clog filter. We ended up taking it out, beating it against the tire, beating it against the stairwell, trying to dislodge as much dirt as possible. At lunchtime I drew a sketch of what turned out to be the centrifugal force air induction chamber and the filter blaster. At its public debut in 2011 at the World Agriculture Expo, the Air Filter Blaster was awarded the prize for most innovative product. Shortly after inventing the Filter Blaster, the very first show that I signed up for was the World Ag Show in Tulare, California. I was nominated for one of the top 10 most innovative products of the year, and at the end of the show, the Filter Blaster took number one most innovative product of the year out of the top 10. Not all owners even bother to clean their filters, and those who do often try blasting air at it by hand or striking the filter to loosen the accumulated dirt. As well as being inefficient and labor-intensive, these methods can result in damage to the filter, requiring it to be replaced altogether. Frequently replacing filters because they are clogged or they got damaged is prohibitively expensive. It's quicker, easier, safer for the person using it, uh, cleaner, um, probably easier on the filters because you use less pressure and does a better job than the old hand one that we used to use. The biggest challenge is awareness. Informing the public of the potential hazards of letting a filter get irretrievably filthy or trying to clean it the wrong way. The air filter blaster has been a big hit in the agricultural market, and its use would be ideal for transportation, construction, mining, and general industry. Other sectors have expressed an interest, including industrial booths where spray painting or sandblasting is carried out. These require high-grade air filtration. I was attracted to it because of the speed and efficiency of blowing out filters. If it's easy to do, it gets done more often. And... It does a better job, we feel, because the dirt doesn't get sucked back into the inside as you're blowing the filter out. And since we've had the filter blaster, um, we've been really impressed with it because it, you can blow out with a wand and then take the filter blaster and you'll get more dirt every time. This is a tool that can save the owner time and money and at the same time save the environment from unnecessary damage. An engine that is given a steady supply of filtered air runs more efficiently, which is good for the environment and the owner's bottom line. It's amazing how much good simply cleaning the filters can do.